Hi, good afternoon to each and every one of you. Welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. It is our distinct pleasure to be with you today and to come into your home and to share some enlightening and encouraging information that I know will be a blessing to you today. Um, Pamela Webb, my co-host. I'm Dr. Tanya Lewis. What are we discussing today? Parenting all over again. There's an epidemic that's going around in our nation right now. And it's a new trend, and it's where retirees and soon-to-be retirees are grandparenting again. Now, according to some statistics, in July 1999, report for the year 1997, nearly 5.5 million children now live with their grandparents. So we see really that that is a serious uh, situation in today's society. And of course, we have on stage with us here, with us, um, individuals who are experiencing firsthand um, the epidemic that we have of parenting all over again, how their children raised their children, and now starting all over again. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, you to, first of all, Roxy Coleman who is uh, the mother of two and starting all over again, parenting. I also would like to uh, introduce Sylvia Franklin. You may hear me refer to her as Grandma Sylvia mm -hmm. because she tends to be grandma to all of us. And so Grandma Sylvia not only is parenting all over again, uh, she has raised her 20-year-old grandson, but now she's starting 20 years later in raising a two-year-old and so she's starting all over again and so for those of you who are doing it um, in that finding yourself in that situation you're not alone and I want you to know that there is hope and there is help and that you're not alone and then finally I would like to introduce our information specialist uh, Deborah Callahan and so with that we want to get started and really find out and let me just as a reminder let me just say that at the conclusion, there will be uh, the email address and um, fax number, and I just really want, and a P.O. box mailing, I want you to get a pen ready, copy down the address, because we really want to hear how this has impacted your life. We really want to know that uh, we are serving a good um, part of information to you, and so please communicate with us and let us know if you have show ideas. And so get your pen and paper ready um, as we go into what we're going to discuss today. Thank you so much, uh, Grandma Sylvia and Roxy, for being with us. Um, before we enter in, Deborah, do you have information that you can share with us to kind of kick us into our conversation? Certainly. Based on ARP, our Association of Advanced Retirement Planners, research, based on their research, 6.3% of U.S. children under the age of 18 live with their grandparents. Mm. Also, about one-third wow. of these children have no parent present in mm. the grandparent's home. And there are grandparent-headed households in, on every socioeconomic and ethnic group. So in other words, it's not just really uh, in one particular ethnic group, it's, it's across, across the board. Across the board. All of us yes, can identify exactly. with this. Either we directly or we know, I, I know in this day and time, we know uh, somebody or somebody's mm -hmm. uh, who's affected with that. Uh, tell us your stories. Um, else to, uh, first of all, Grandma Sylvia, um, what, give us some background, some family background. Well, I am a retiree and a widow. I have two children, a boy and a girl, and uh, two grandchildren. I raised my first grandson from birth. He's now 22, and here, 22 years later, I'm raising another grandchild. She's two years old. I live with my grandchildren and my son. Hmm. 20 years later. 20 years later, I find myself exactly in the same situation. Hmm. Uh, thank you. Roxy, how did you find yourself in this situation? What, give, give me some family background, first of all, before we enter into the next question. I have um, a daughter and a son as well. And uh, I have my daughter's son who, um, God had to prepare me for this. I, this was not in my plan at all. I didn't think the second part of 50 that I would be being a mother. That, <laughs> all that, over that, that was not my plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
there was a need. There, there, was, there was a need. Mm -hmm. My baby, I call him, um, he needed a home. And that's how my husband and I got to be his parents slash grandparents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of the need. So do you, do you how, how would you um, share with us, uh, what, how did you get, come to find out that you had to fall into the situation or what happened to your children that would uh, have you to now step into the role of parenting rather than enjoying grandparenting, you know, uh, bringing them home with you, sending them back. sending them back when you, you know, got mm -hmm. tired, you know, uh, and occasionally taking them shopping. How did you find yourself now in the situation to where now you are full-time mothers? How did you, Grandma Sylvia, what happened in your case? Well, my daughter returned to live with me. She was pregnant. A beautiful baby girl was born into the household. Eventually, it became apparent that we could not live together in the same house. It was my home, so she had to leave. I did not allow her to take the child with her because she is a substance abuser. And therefore, I found myself at the age of 71 mm. being mm. parenting again. Yes. Mm. And that is my situation. 71 years old. Yes, mm. but I could not allow the child to leave the home. Right. So really what it sounds like, and certainly you can interject, it sounds as though that um, what, what, what you wanted in life and what you wanted to do, your plans, you put to the side, you place yes. them to the side yes. mm -hmm. in order to take on this role mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. parenting all over again. Mm -hmm. yeah. All that um, I had envisioned for my senior years had mm -hmm. to be placed on hold. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a tremendous sacrifice that I had to make. Of course. But the priority was the well-being of this baby. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it may seem as though, and it has been a great sacrifice, but uh, just think you'll live it's on. For, you'll mm -hmm. live on longer than, than you live on. Exactly. Uh, through the life of your babies. Um, Roxy, what, what, what brought you to the situation? Similar situation um, at the time. Lori could not be the parent that she needed to be. And uh, through the coaching of the Holy Ghost, because that's not, uh, it's not something that you just automatically mm -hmm. want to do, you mm -hmm. know, for different reasons. You don't want to take somebody's baby or mm -hmm. step in and overrule the parent. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, through God's wisdom and knowledge, he's saying, well, somebody's got to be the advocate for the child, mm -hmm. somebody. And, and I've chosen you to do that. You know, I can, um, I was talking to another parent that has already raised a grandparent that's her children or grandchildren are grown. And then the Holy Ghost just told me when talking to her, I, I had them birth for you to raise them. Mm -hmm. And I was just sharing it oh. with her, you know, like, you know, this is, this is your role. This uh -huh. is what you, God said this is what you were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And she was, you know, just in listening, and he turned around and told me, you too. Mm -hmm. See. So it's, it's, you know, life comes from mm -hmm. God, but Hallelujah. the plan that God has, you, you have no idea what that is. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to be so yielded, because we mm -hmm. don't know. We should plan our lives. But best you can as best we can yeah. but with that comma and with the um, availability of the Lord being able to change our lives and have us to live out our purpose according to his will mm -hmm. he knew before you were even born that you were going to face these and encounter yes. this particular situation but isn't it wonderful to know that we have a God who helps mm -hmm. us in the midst of whatever we're going yes. through exactly. that it doesn't matter uh, the the situation that we face that we yet have help let me just ask you, and of course, like I said, I invite the two of you to um, ask questions, but what kind of obstacles have you encountered uh, in your uh, parenting all over again? What, what, what are some of the experiences that you've had? <laughs> Could you write a book? <laughs> <laughs> having a baby, having a baby in your house. You know, you forget, you forget. My young, my oldest, my youngest is 30 what, 31? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my you forget goodness. this. Mm -hmm. you, you forget things right. that to do with a, with a little bitty baby. And, and then to think that, well, they're not going to go home. They're at home. <laughs> they're, they're at home. That's right. And then now, mm -hmm. you know, you've got, a, you got care, child care. Mm -hmm. and, and right now we're at Head Start age. And I find myself in Head Start and going to school every day and, and doing ABCs and, and so <laughs> forth, and it's the questions, it's the many, many mm -hmm. 
the many, 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 many questions. <laughs> I'd be like, Lord, the, the thing you can't, you have to remember is that God called you to do it, mm -hmm. but you can't do it outside of God. Mm -hmm. Right. If, Amen. if God's not Amen. in it, it cannot be done Amen. because he requires mm -hmm. things. Amen. The things we didn't do when we had mm -hmm. our the children, parents, right. mm -hmm. we, we got away with mm -hmm. out of mm -hmm. just lack of knowledge. But, know. but right. now we know certain things. We, there are guidelines. There are spiritual guidelines mm -hmm. that we have to put into these babies in order for them to grow up to be mm -hmm. who God said that they were supposed mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. The responsibility is a gift, mm -hmm. but it's a costly gift. Costly. It's yeah. very costly. Mm -hmm. But God provides, and you know, mm -hmm. you just, you know, when you're sick, you ain't sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like I, it's deep. It, it's real deep. Huh? It's just deep. Mm -hmm. Grandma mm -hmm. Silvio, what, um, what are some of the obstacles that you face or encountered in the midst of this? Quite a few, quite a few. But like Roxy said, God provides, He directs, and He guides. Mm -hmm. And it's because of His love that He has given me for children mm -hmm. that I am doing this once again. We have got to save the children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Too many children have been lost, Amen. falling through the net. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We cannot allow our children to fall through the nets Amen. anymore. Amen. We have got to be there no matter what it costs. God will take us through. Mm -hmm. He will provide for us. Yes. He will give us strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. <laughs> it goes back to what uh, we've mm -hmm. often heard, uh, that it takes a village to, to raise, raise a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we look at the society today, mm -hmm. and we know that there have been uh, too many individuals that have been self-centered, uh, too many individuals who've had babies and sort of mm -hmm. placed them to the side mm -hmm. and went on and did their thing. Their thing. And so mm -hmm. now we are reaping what we've sown. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we wonder what happened. Well, it's because children have been left to rear their own selves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they haven't experienced that love. And it's just really, um, it's just really uh, necessary for each one of us to not only just love our children, but to all reach out them. and love mm -hmm. all the yeah, children all because them. they all need love all and they all them. need help. That's amazing because um, at Head Start, they're, they're three and four year olds and when you go to school, they get familiar with you, you uh -huh. know, and, and now when I go in, <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a gamut of little bitty kids, you know, it's like about 30 little kids and it's like, Miss Coleman, Miss Coleman, and they all run up, and they all run up, and they want to hug they you, know, and they want to mm -hmm. tell you what happened over the weekend, and, and show you uh, their, their scars, and, and whatever's going on with them, they're just so excited, and, it, and it's just a feeling, mm -hmm. it's just a feeling for you when you say, I had the other day, I went in, and I kissed one of them, mm -hmm. and, and then the Holy Ghost said, now, kiss all mm -hmm. of them, yep. oh. and, 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 and when I had gotten done, <laughs> I was just so full, mm -hmm. because I just hugged, picked them all up and hugged and kissed them, and it was one little guy monitoring, and he was like, Miss Coleman, you missed one. Oh. <laughs> you didn't get him, oh. you didn't get him. Oh, and, and when I got done, he said, okay, that's everybody. <laughs> but that's, God knew mm -hmm. I needed that. Mm -hmm. it, it, see, the amazing thing about God is, you don't know what you need, mm -hmm. but he's got a plan Amen. so cut for you Amen. that when you get to that certain time in your life, mm -hmm. this is sustaining me. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. This is going Tell to me keep about me, it. you yes. know? And, and my husband has to do it all over again. He has uh -huh. to be, his papa, Ethan is, that's his dad, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like, you know, he, you got to take him to the park. <laughs> now my, we, we were just thinking this morning, okay, it's Little League, he's four years old. Uh -huh. It's Little League time. Uh -huh. So it's like, uh, okay, Lord, you direct, mm -hmm. you direct and that's what it's about. I know, I know you were referencing the Head, uh, head Start mm -hmm. age. I know that uh, it's a joy and, and a fulfillment for me uh, to experience the love and interaction with uh, my son's friends. Mm -hmm. I have a 17, 18 year old mm -hmm. uh, son. I have a 30 year old son also, Terrell. I haven't forgot about you, son. Mm -hmm. uh, but I interact with my 17, 18 year old mm -hmm. um, friends. And it's such a joy to know that uh, Mama Lewis is what they call me, that they would see me in that light because mm -hmm. they know that I love them. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you know, we're so quick to say how bad children are. Mm -hmm. You know, he's so right. bad, they're mm -hmm. so bad. But really, they're not. Mm -hmm. You know, they are, they are individuals searching out, trying to live out who they are, mm -hmm. and all they need is some guidance. And so, it, mm -hmm. you know, when we look at the privilege that we have to be an example and to That's be it. an mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. in, in, in yep. his children's life, 
we will take off that well now I'm not that old my god age has nothing yeah. to do with it you know who you are and what, and what you into has nothing to do with it because when I close my eyes I want to be remembered as impacting not only my children's life mm -hmm. but countless People other mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. and so and so that's what you're doing you are impacting not only your grandchildren directly but those that they're going to encounter right. and those that are going to mm -hmm. encounter Sylvia Franklin will live on and on Roxy Coleman will live mm -hmm. on and on not only through Ethan and not only through Kai but through their friends and through their family you are planting seeds, seeds. for your generations mm -hmm. Isn't that not deep or what? Mm, yes, it is. We serve an awesome, awesome God. God. <laughs> He's Ooh. worthy to be praised. <laughs> and, and isn't it amazing yeah. that he allowed, he already knew before the foundation mm. of the earth that uh, your children, and not only your children, but, but many other okay. children, would have a situation that would place you in this. But uh, like we talked about earlier, he has been preparing you all along. Mm. And so this was not just something new, it just popped mm. up. But along the way, he's been preparing you. Mm -hmm. And not only is that, but uh, naturally so he prepares us. And he has in place um, uh, some programs to assist <coughs> us. Uh, Pamela, you got some information for us? Yes, there might be some questions about how can I get financial assistance. Well, there are some states that offer subsidies for grandparent caregivers. And then also your local Social Security Administration. They also have information there. There's a grandparent support group hmm. that's very vital. Mm -hmm. Then the local Department of Social Services, Aging, or Family Services. Hmm. And then also we can't forget about <laughs> the God. Church of God. Amen. Ooh. Amen. 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 There are so many things that are available to, once again, grandparents. <clears throat> what else might we find ourselves in And then another question might be insurance. That's another question then, okay, possibly your own insurance carrier can also add your grandchild to that particular policy. Your local Department of Social Services, again, with Medicare. Then also your local state public health office for low cost or free programs. Mm. Then there are also private institutions also. So there's a gamut of information. Mm, while wow, that's available because of the reality of what we are experiencing. Uh, Deborah, what can you share with us? I would like to tell them also about the contacts. First of all, the best place to look for contacts is, of course, something that you have in your home, the phone book. <laughs> 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 you may also visit your local library. And the best resource, of course, is the Internet. Mm -hmm. Just planning for this show, I went to the Internet. It's a lot of information mm. that you can fan, find yeah. about grandparenting all over again. I know I, I encountered uh, uh, in my searching the internet it was over 23,000 23, websites right. uh, dedicated to grandparenting <coughs> all over again so mm -hmm. it just really lets us know that we are really 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 not alone. Exactly. Uh, let me ask you this um, and uh, Grandma Sylvia and also Roxy or Roxanne mm -hmm. um, what would be your words of encouragement to someone who is experiencing the same situation that you are or will come to find themselves in that situation? First, Grandma Sylvia. Don't give up. Hmm. Trust God. Mm. Pray. Pray without heart. season. Mm -hmm. Prayer answers things. Have faith in God. He will guide you and direct you. Just keep on doing what God mm -hmm. would have you do. Save yeah. the children. Mm. We cannot get away from those three words. Save, Save the, the children. Because yes. <coughs> our children have to live with those children. Right. And I don't mean those children as being categorized as, as something d weird, no. but but no. but we have to all get along. Mm -hmm. yes, and so by <laughs> saving the children, then that also enables us to live in a society that will be a blessing mm -hmm. to right. us. Mm -hmm. um, too many children perish. Too mm -hmm. many children perish. Mm -hmm. Daily, you read in the papers or you see in the network, too late, too late. My if God. only someone had stepped in mm -hmm. and rescued that child. We cannot wait until it's too late. 
still got to save the children. Amen. I know this is a different day that we're living in. Uh, remember when we were growing up, um, a ch child would not dare do anything in front of an adult because adults could reprimand right. them mm -hmm. and, and they, they didn't want their parents to find out. In this day and time, because we have not paid attention to and uh, given love and care to our, our children and across the board, now they will, you know, they curse you out. They'll find mm -hmm. colorful words no, to tell yeah. you mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. you should not be in their business. No mm -hmm. fear. No fear at all. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it used to be where um, they did not want their parents to know. Now don't you don't want you don't want no 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 <laughs> now you don't want their parents to know <laughs> because of the society that we're living in because mm -hmm. they are so protective oh. of those things that um, that they really are detrimental to their children's mm -hmm. well-being. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they used to didn't want the parents to know, but now we don't want the well, parents yes. to know because, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. parents do not, uh, 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 many parents are not um, uh, coming together as one to raise our children. Right. Roxanne, right. what would be your words of encouragement or to our audience? To let God, if you've got an ear to hear from the Lord, listen mm -hmm. and be obedient to what he says and if you don't have an ear to hear just human nature kindness mm -hmm. if if you find yourself in a situation put yourself in that place what you want if you were a baby would you want someone to care for you would you want to be just abandoned mm -hmm. not uh, not knowing where your next anything was coming from and of course you wouldn't so if you can't if, if it's not with God, then put yourself in that situation. But I would suggest, I would encourage, <laughs> you know, praying, mm -hmm. getting a relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. asking him to come in. Hmm. Because, like I said, you, you, you can't be done without it. Without God. Mm -hmm. You know, it really goes, I, I know in this day and, um, day and time, I know that we feel as though that we're self-sufficient, that mm -hmm. uh, I'm my yeah. own God. I don't need any help. But um, isn't that such a deceitful uh, attitude to have because mm -hmm. uh, again all those things that we encounter are tough situations mm -hmm. and without the help of the Lord we would mm -hmm. just lose our mind mm -hmm. but I don't you don't look like you've lost your mm -hmm. mind you really look beautiful mm -hmm. here <laughs> come close <laughs> <laughs> you don't look stressed out. Mm -hmm. we've come close mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> because nope. of the reality of what you're uh, mm -hmm. living through mm -hmm. I'm I, not stressed out mm -hmm. I'm not I trust God there's a peace about mm -hmm. it. There's a peace. I have peace. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, to um, to young young parents that are being good parents, do the best you can. Live a life before mm -hmm. your children. Mm -hmm. And to grandparents, there, there are all kind of support groups for grandparents. Mm -hmm. and, and I was in a, I'm in a support group, and it's it's good to know that you're not by yourself. Mm -hmm that you can share stories. Yes. Right. And yes. when you share right. stories, you find out that your story is not as bad <laughs> as you thought. Exactly. And then you, you encourage one another. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it is it is challenging. Mm -hmm. you, you have to tell the truth. It is very challenging. And it causes you to get up every morning mm -hmm. and pray special. Lord, get me through this, this, uh, this mm -hmm. and, and as, as our pastor says, not even today. Get mm -hmm. me through this hour. <laughs> you know, and, and help me to be something this little baby can see because mm -hmm. they they mirror us uh -huh. mm -hmm. they mirror us mm -hmm. yeah. you don't have to meet the, the parent all you got to see is the child, child. Mm -hmm. the child. so the child <laughs> child is watching everything we do and we say mm -hmm. they're little robots yeah. <laughs> we, we, so you you know you've got to you've got to realize that mm -hmm. we have got to be a godly example mm -hmm. Yep. Godly example, mm -hmm. and uh, especially when so much is pulling at um, society today, we really have to be godly examples. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we used to hear that terminology, uh, don't do as I do, do as That's I say. Wrong. Well, that didn't work with us. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't work uh, to, uh, in, in, with the society that we are in today. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to be an example, as, as you were indicating, and certainly we know that um, God is able. Uh, Roxanne, um, would you please just really uh, lead us in prayer and, and speak a word of encouragement to those who are in that situation or will come to find themselves in that situation? Okay. Father God, we praise you right now for being God, Thank for you, being Jesus. the head of our life, yes, for being Lord. the yes, Lord. Lord. orchestrator of everything that happens to us. Yes, Lord. Lord, you knew that we were going to come to this time and you've provided everything that we need. Yes, we thank you, Father, that 
We acknowledge you, that yes, we trust Jesus. you, that Hallelujah. we love you, that we know you, that we rely on you, and that we need you to come into our lives, to come into our situations. And right now, I offer up every grandparent that's parenting again for them to know that this is what you call them to do yes. Yes. and that they can do it because you said they could do it yes. and that every need they ever will have has already yes. been met yes. in yes. the name of Jesus yes. and that all they have to do is trust you trust. and love that child. Yes. Love, 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 yes. hug, yes. kiss, yes. compliment, yes. encourage yes. Yes. and you'll see yes. a seed develop into a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> flower, God's flower that Hallelujah. you've designed for us to raise. Hallelujah. And Lord God, we thank you for that. Hallelujah. We appreciate you for giving us the opportunity yes, and we Lord. love yes, you, Lord. Lord. In Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus. Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. And it is all in his name. Yes. Yes. It is. Yes. Once again, we want to encourage you to uh, get your pen and write down the email address. Uh, we have a fax number for you, a P.O. box, get information to us as to what you would like to see us discuss and uh, how this show has impacted your life. We want you to know that you're not alone. We want you to know that we will continue to hold you in our prayers. No, we, don't, we might not know your name specifically, but we're going to continue to pray for grandparents who are uh, starting all over again across the board. We don't know your name, but the Lord knows exactly. your name. Amen. And we want you to be encouraged. Seek out some help. And as Roxy said, you'll find you're not alone. And when you find that you're not alone, you'll find that it's not as bad mm -hmm. as you thought, thought it was. Exactly. And so be encouraged. God bless you. Tune in again to the Spice of Life Variety Show. May the Lord bless you. We love you. Hallelujah. 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 Isn't it wonderful? Hallelujah.